the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Got it. Man, I, I, I'm glad he, I'm glad you showed up here. I got, I got a, I was sitting there, I saw, I did my prayer already, and and I was talking, obviously building up where I was coming from, uh, picking up where I left off on Sunday. Was saying, what profits a man to gain the whole world and yet loses his soul? And and I really want to back on the fact is that I've been looking at the the I was talking before you came in. It was like the the importance of ministry to equip the saint to do the work of the ministry, to get out there and, and minister to people, equip the saint, let them know your, their light's supposed to shine and, and show that the world has so many bitterness in it, right? It, 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 or disappointment or disgruntledness uh, that we want to equip the saint to be able to combat at the world's way and also be a blessing to other people. But it, it, it's... it's uh, we know there's a mental challenge out there for people, you know? And, and I know they have to sort it out, but I really do believe that you can sort it out through Christ Jesus, you know? I really do, you know that old song, Jesus is the answer, right? Jesus is the it's It's, it's, it's so important for uh, all of us to try to help other people understand when you have a crisis, it's, it's it, the eternal salvation, the eternal power, the anointing. That's what the anointing is, right? Matter of fact, oh, I got to do that one day. When I was back in the world change, we call it uh, the anointing is the burden removing, yoke destroying power of God. You know, uh, Christ means anointed like Christ, right? And, and, and the point is that we have an anointing on us that allow us to take on the challenges of this world and, and to be able to get everybody else to understand you have an anointing on you to, to, to tackle the things of this world, tackle the challenges of this life. So I, I'm really going to have to cover that. I'm, I'm going to have to cover it next week. As far as I'm concerned. You know the power. What does it take to make it in this world today? You know when that Simone girl was in the Olympics and she 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 had mental blocks for you know competing, right? And and it was just bringing up the issue that there's mental challenges that people have. Uh, the 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 guy that that was the, the swimmer, you remember one that got all those medals for swimming? He said he has mental. Uh, it, you know, and I think we, we put a stigma on it instead of recognizing, yes, people have mental issues in their life. Do we agree with that? That, that there's, 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 there's mental issues uh, where people go into depression. People, people come suicidal. Uh, and, and that's where they give medicine psychiatrists and i want to i want to encourage us to give people and let people know there's an anointing right mm -hmm. there's a power in the holy spirit there's a power in god to take on our mental challenges there's a power in god to take on our mental health health and wellness there's a spiritual component that 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 uh, it's so important for every person who walks this earth is to have that understanding that God is in you. The hope of, what's that called? The hope of glory is in you. If you can just receive it, it's a gift of God. So when our topic is what profits a man to gain the whole world, I want to go over these scriptures with you is the fact is that if we can get people to recognize the, the importance of, of, of not trying to gain whatever they think is important, opposed to 
where the Bible says, seek God first and, and, and get his blessing, his anointing, not what the world can give you. Everything needs to come through him so you can appreciate it. And if it goes, it goes because you got the re you have the source of life is in him, not in stuff, not in things. You know what I mean? So let's let's look at this. Let's look at this and get the word to start speaking to us and see how God sees brings it to you. I put it here, like I said, that what pops a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul. So the next scripture is for you to read for his brother because now, and I like this, God gives you the ability to come in <laughs> and let the, let, you know what I mean? It, it's like, bam, here's, 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 here's the ambush. So the Holy Spirit can just take somebody and just give revelation. Then it's not a preparation. The, the person don't need to preparate. Now they got to say, okay, what is the Lord saying? So go ahead, sir. Uh, Mark 8, 31, 33. All right. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes and be killed and after three days rise again. And he spake that saying openly. And Peter took him and began to rebuke him. But when he had turned about and looked on his disciple, he rebuked Peter, saying, Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou savorest not the things that be of God, but the things that be of men. Now, put that in perspective for me. If you was right there in that group, what did you what, what was going on for your perspective? How would you review in this? Exchange now. If I could, I put you in Peter. I don't know if I'll put you in Peter. It's better to observe, right? You, you, you wanted to, you're in that group. What, 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 what were you getting from that? Well, if I'm just in that group, I'm pretty much thinking on the lines of Peter. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> You but we know that that Peter was always bold and just acted and spoke out, <laughs> you know, before thinking about things. Um, because this isn't the first instance that uh, Peter just blurted out what just came to his mind. Right. Um, there's plenty of, of witnesses in the word of, of him doing that. So I'm pretty sure this was his nature. <laughs> um, but I I think if if I was amongst the disciples and I was listening to Peter uh, saying what he said after Christ said what he said, right. I, I would definitely be thinking upon the same thing. I mean. This this man has just heard from Peter uh -huh. saying, and, and the disciples was there. Right. Because before this, Jesus asked Peter, <laughs> you know, oh, he asked the disciples. Yeah, yeah. Who do people say? Who? That? Who do the people say that I am? Yes, right. right. You know, and uh, you know, and they said some of the, uh, the the older brothers and sisters, you know. Yeah, old prophets and stuff. Yeah, yeah, prophets. And so then Jesus asked Peter specifically, uh -huh. <laughs> "Who do thou say that I am?" Uh -huh. And Peter said. Thou art the Son of God. Right. Thou the Christ, right? The, yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. And, and Jesus had just told him, <laughs> you know, you you didn't get that from, from man. No, you did, right? You know, you got that directly from God. That information was dropped into his spirit from God. That yes, revelation, yes. that was a revelation. Yeah. 
You were solid now, right? That's why they called Peter, didn't they? And he was like, he, you're blessed, Peter. Uh -huh. this, this is right before <laughs> he rebuked him. You, you, you fortified. I mean, that's why he made him solid, right? You're solid. You're more solid. I'm going to make you. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. the the going back, so <laughs> obviously I'm going to be thinking that what Peter has to say <laughs> is from God <laughs> after Jesus just told him God just spoke to him. Interesting. But what we have to understand is uh -huh. these are all growing pains. Yes, it is. Yes. yes. These are, yes. these are, these are, this is how we grow in Christ. This is how we grow in God yes. and hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yes, so Come on. without us failing, uh -huh. we won't grow. Come on now. We won't learn what is of Satan come and on, what on. is of God. Come on, come on. And come so on. this was a, glory to God, this was a learning phase for Peter that, okay, what you heard from God was God. Yes. yes. When he told him, you didn't get that from man. So Peter was 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 learning that the voice that he listened to was God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In this particular uh, verses, he learned that what he heard and what he was following in his mind was from Satan. Yes. So he had a lesson here. Yes. The difference between hearing from God uh -huh. and from somebody who was mimicking God. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. He said the, some of the translators say mindful of the things of man. Yeah. He did say, he calls, when we when, when mind of the things of man, then we put it in category here from the devil. But let's let's put it from the perspective of just being mindful of man, right? And, and yeah. what we're saying that is uh at a cardinal level of thinking. Oh yeah. We, we don't so, we, yeah, go ahead. And then and, and, and in saying that, you know, when he when you when you are moving and making decisions based on your carnal self. Yes. Yes, sir. When you're making decisions that are based on, on your feelings and yes. based on the desires of your flesh yes. and your human nature, then most likely you're being persuaded yes. by Satan. By the God of this world. That's, that's basically God of this world. And so that was a big lesson learned, not only for Peter, yes. but for those disciples. Yes. You would think that <laughs> Jesus rebuking Peter in such a way, you know, there's there's many Christians that leave uh -huh. the body of Christ because of a rebuke in such a way. Yeah, to be offended. Yep. Yep. But but I mean, look how great Peter ended up being from these lessons. Yes, I mean, sir. especially after he received the Holy Spirit. I mean, he denied Christ. And then right after receiving the Spirit of God, this dude was boldly proclaiming yes, sir. Christ. Yes. Boldly, boldly preaching and teaching about the kingdom of God and what Jesus Christ has done and letting them know Yes, sir. The very man that you crucified. Woo. Come on. Glory to God is the one that is in us and that's giving us this ability to boldly proclaim who and what he is. Yes. So so there is a distinction in that. But mm -hmm. don't get me wrong. Our life is a life of growing. Uh -huh. And then planning out. Yeah, we have that. with our failures because yeah. you know we 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 tend to fall into that default of human nature. Exactly. Yeah. And then 
we learn from that and then we grow some more and yeah. we're, what this is is it's learning us how to to allow christ to be our lord yes yeah. and savior not just our savior but our lord mm -hmm. by relying on him by listening to his direction yes and allowing him to direct our path Come on, so man. that that is 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 a great great thing to know because it's not just this yes yes it's not but good. it's not that god don't want it to be just that right it's that it is a form of growing and in that growing it is a growing to know god a growing to hear god a growing to know the difference between god and the god of this world so satan you 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 got him in the still small voice in your mind just like god there there that's a spirit speaking into your soul trying to get you to listen but there is a distinct voice which is god and when you don't just know god you won't always know his voice yes and hear his direction exactly. you know because not only is there satan and god there's also your human nature well, and your soul means, that's trying to speak to you as well right and i think that's what he means to me is almost he's putting those to, to in that cardinal thinking and like i said things of men yeah he, he put that jesus putting that in a category of getting behind me satan you yes you, you are moved you are not at the spiritual level of thinking you 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 are the mindful things of man's way of thinking, and he called he equates that as get behind me, Satan. Yes, you know what I'm saying. You know, yeah. and, and I want let's let's look at a piece I wanted to bring in that uh, to deal with the mental issues of life that people have uh, is that first verse there. He's he's telling you what he's going to go through, but. When we talk about mental health, is this the same thing for a person in mental health too? Suffering, you know, rejection, right? Look at it. He said, the son of man must suffer many things. And I'm thinking that a lot of people in life, see, I know we want to think about the, you know, the, the beating that Jesus was talking, went through, but, but what about people? Do they are they, are they suffering? Do, are people suffering? Yeah, people people suffer. They suffering, aren't they? And 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 are they being are people being rejected by people? Of course. And, 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 and is that a challenge in life and the things of this world? Isn't that some of the things that people go through in this world to be challenged? Well, it's 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 a reality. It's a there you go. It is a reality. And when we talk about kill, it, it, it don't necessarily mean uh, physical death, too, right? There's, there's people trying to destroy other people. You know what I mean? They they, they want to break them. You, you, you heard of that before. You know about that, right? And I come to make a point that that when we talk about the men, I, I please, I just want to bring that in there because. This is what the world presents to you. That Jesus said he must suffer for us. Because these are the things that we see in our life on a day-to-day -day basis. People being rejected. Hey, you didn't get that promotion. Rejection. Hey, you, you didn't get that, that, that relationship that you wanted. So you go through the divorce. How many divorces do we got in the country? What's the percentage? Is over? Is it over 50%? I'm pretty sure it's like 60% or something like that. That's too high, ain't it? Well, I mean, I consider to give you when you look at how <laughs> how it is, you know, they say, like I just saw something, they say arranged marriages <laughs> are like 20%. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because it's 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 not really based upon 
the desires of the flesh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Arranged marriages, they consider the whole package okay. of a person. Yeah. And, and 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 it has nothing. Well, I can't say it has nothing to do. Looks aren't the main right. priority. Which, which, you know, which, it's 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 a strong foundation. It's it's stability. You know, it's 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 uh, uh, resources. You know, all all those things come into play. You know, a good family uh, line and and and, and 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 also a key thing is that they have the same faith. Yes, the yes. same same religion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That makes them compatible. Right. Um, so they go in like that. A lot of people just go in by looks, you know, yeah. or, or or they may have something in common, you know, one thing that they do in common and so on and so forth. And they go from there. But yeah. anyway, uh, uh, it can be devastating to some people. Right. It can be devastating, too. Right. Yeah. Bring, you know what I mean? Uh, even if just boyfriend girlfriend relationship break up though uh, could be oh yeah no, no, that those are are all consuming that that first yeah. what they call it they they coined it as puppy love puppy love yeah yeah when when that that when that puppy dies <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it changes there a is there is a total body suffering yes. Yeah. There is it, it. There is a a. Uh, there is something about that disconnect mm -hmm. that goes down to the core of your being. Yes. Because you know that puppy love you. Everything about it is just to be connected. Yes. You yes. know, I remember just just to be on the phone. We ain't saying that. Just to be connected any 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 way possible yeah you know i couldn't imagine uh if there was no phones at right. that time yeah. you know and and so you're just consumed with that individual yeah. and your desire is just to be with them be around them you know and uh and then for that separation and, and speaking of that that had to be the same mindset that peter was falling under in this particular scriptures. Yeah, I'm not going to accept it right. That break, because what he saw was there's going to be a disconnect. There's going to yeah. be a separation. There's going to be something yeah. I have, I have, what I call, I have, uh, I have bonded with you. You are important to me. And these things that's going to happen to you, I don't want to happen to you. Oh, yeah. You know? So Peter, Peter, like you said, if you was on the outside, I think uh, I think Mister would say you kind of like in line with Peter to a degree. You're like, no, this ain't gonna happen. Cause that's what you say about your child, right? Your child. Yeah. You like, no, 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 not. I can child. just see it. And, it, and don't say Peter just rebuked him. It said Peter took him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, but I'm like, what about the and began to rebuke him. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Peter was getting ready to, in Peter's mind is, I'm, you somebody I love, and I just can't let that happen to you. Yeah, so he's like, he's grabbing him up and he's protecting him. No, we're not going to let that happen. I'm going to take <laughs> you, and I'm rebuking that, give the very thought of that. Not <laughs> that, not, not the thought of him, you know, <laughs> rebuking Christ. He's rebuking everything that he said. He did. Hey, Peter, Peter did this, ride or die. Ride or die. I mean, yeah. Ride or die, brother. Huh? Yeah. Yes, he but, is. And, 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 and what that does, though, is interesting, though, is that that mindset sounds good, but God is saying, Christ is saying, get behind me, Satan. Yeah. Because you know what, Satan? Or at least who's trying to influence you, Peter? He is trying to go against the will of God, yeah. I'm telling you what I just told you, Peter, and everybody in here listening to me, Peter. I'm telling you what is what God wants to happen, and on top of that, it, it needs to happen so that I can die for the sin. Well, you know, you got to read all the to it, right? 
I'm dying for the sin of the world. Uh -huh. My death will bring in salvation for billions. That's why it must happen. But that's that's on a spiritual level, isn't it? That you see what I'm saying is that's what that's but Peter was at what you call a reasonable level in the mind of man. Yeah. But not, not I mean in, in 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 the eyes of man, what Peter did was was right. Typical. Yeah. yeah. It, it was it was typical man behavior and it was it was it was actually an act of love it was, it was right it right. really was you know and and which lets you know that we are certainly going to <laughs> to come short of the desires of God, of the will of God, yes, because all, if 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 we're not hearing from Him, uh -huh. we will be amiss because <laughs> His ways are not our ways. Yeah. Not, not, and when I say our ways, I'm uh -huh. talking about the ways of men. Yes, but but His ways are our ways when we're walking in the Spirit. Yes, sir. When we're led by the Spirit. Come on, brother. So uh, th this is a great, great, great lesson right here yeah. um, to, to be had, knowing that the very elect of us yeah. will fail. Yeah. But in that failure, learn from it and rise from that. Right. Learn how to be more attentive mm -hmm. and have a hearing ear for the Spirit of God yes. and not the spirit of man. Yes. So that is a great lesson here. Exactly. To to grab hold of and to move forward. Yes. Because it is our goal. Please listen, people. To always hear from God before we make a decision. To yes. always be listening for God. Because a lot of things. I heard a, a message about Abraham, Abram, where mm -hmm. God says, I will show you a place. Yes. I will bless you. Come on now. And through you, the world will yes. be blessed. Yes. So it is a will of God. Yes. And his will will come to pass if you only get in line with his, will. with his will, but he's not going to give you each and every step because then it would be your will <laughs> when you get to where you need to go. Yes, sir. Because it's going to be your will that's going to think that, okay, well, I got this information and now I'm going to go act on it. Ooh, I did good. <laughs> yeah. yeah and also no, God only gives you enough to where you got to rely on him. Yeah, to and get you where by, you need to be. You said to walk by faith, not by sight. Not by sight. Or not by your senses. Yeah. Yeah. Or, 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 the, or the things of man. It's, a, it's important. And, and, the, and the, the fact is that we still will face those things that Christ died for for us, for us the suffering, the rejection. And and then I still think, I was, you know, when we talk about, you we heard the word broken. A person is broken, right? We does that mean sometimes is 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 a, is a death to a degree? You know, it's not a physical death, but it 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 changed the person from what they supposed to be, right? Mm -hmm. And when someone they broken, uh, and and I, that's why I guess I'm I guess I'm hitting that to that mental challenge and stuff is that the world tries to change you become cynical sometimes i guess angry sometimes well it's trying to conform you yeah it's trying to conform you to the, to its desires to the desires of somebody else uh -huh. they they that that's what 